I wanted to talk a little bit about redistribution and the default metric when we're using EIGRP. So for this example, I just have a simple network with three routers. I'm running OSPF between router 1 and router 2, and EIGRP between router 1 and router 3, both for IPv4 and IPv6. And I'll show some of the differences between these configurations. So OSPF and EIGRP have already been set up. EIGRP has been redistributed in OSPF, so this video is not about OSPF and about that, how that works. This is just going to be about EIGRP. So, some of the things that you have to be aware of that only connected and static routes can be redistributed without a default metric. So, if you don't specify a metric when you redistribute OSPF or RIP or BGP or whatever it is, it will not get, the routes will not arrive on router 3 in this case unless we set a metric for each and every redistribution line or we set a default metric. But for connected and static routes, we do not need to do that, as we will see later. And there's a difference when we are using redistribution with IPv6 and IPv4, and that's that include connected keywords. So if I were to re redistribute OSPF into EIGRP, I would get this network, this OSPF network, alongside it, whatever I was redistributing. However, if I do the same for, uh, for IPv6, I will not get this network over here, unless I use the include connected keyword. So uh, let's go into the configuration. Most of the stuff will become more clear. So if I go on router 3 and I do show IP route EIGRP, I see that I have the loopback of router 1 in here. If I do it for IPv6, I will see that I do not have anything in here. I should have the loopback of R1. Let me see if I'm redistributed, loopback 0. And it's not advertising in EIGRP, so that might be the problem. And if it's loopback 0, I can say EIGRP 1. And I should have the loopback in here right now. So that is all working just fine. So Let's say, and if I go on uh, router 2, this is running OSPF, so if I show IP protocol, I can see that I'm running OSPF. If I show IP route OSPF, I can see that I have indeed the ex external route, I have the loopback of R3, and I have received the network between R3 and R1. And for uh, IP6, it's the same over here. So OSPF has already been set up. I didn't have to make any changes uh, for that. So let's get into redistribution. So if I show run include uh, section EIGRP, this is basically my default uh, configuration. So uh, we can see that we have this line redistribute EIGRP, and this is for OSPF. This is not going to fall under the IP6 or the router EIGRP over here. So that's the OSPF configuration. And I just, I've just set up an EIGRP router ID and advertise these networks. So Let's get into redistribution. So if I'm going in router EHP1 and I did redistribute OSPF1 and I press enter here. If I go on R3 and I show IP route EHP, I will not get any routes. This is because I have not specified a metric. If I had a static route, IP route uh, 000 pointing to 100122, so that's the address of router 2. And if I go back in EHP, and I said redistribute static, if I go on R3, I can see that I do have this static route. So that is included. That does not need a metric specified. So let's remove that again. And let's remove this default route as well. So router here should be one. And I'm going to say redistribute OSPF, which is one. And instead of specifying a metric for OSPF, I'm just going to give it a default metric, in this case, 999 for the bandwidth. I don't know, 25 for delay, 255, 1, and 1500. So it doesn't really matter what you specify with the reliability load and MTU because they are not used by default in this calculation. If I do show IP protocols, I can see for EIGRP that we're only using K1 and K3. So the other ones aren't used in the calculation. So it doesn't really matter what I specify there. So if I show IP route right now, I can see that I have the loopback of router 2. And I've also received this uh, network between router 1 and router 2. So before I just had the loopback of R1. Then I had the default route, which I removed again. And now I have this network and the loopback of R2. And I should be able to reach that from my own loopback. And that's working just fine. 
If I go into IPv6, IPv6 rather, EIGP, and I did redistribute OSPF 1, I can ha I have this include connected keyword. So let's do that for now. So if I show IPv6 route, EIGP, I do not have this network in here right now. So same scenario, default metric. And we can see that we've received the blue bag of R2. However, we have not received that uh, network between router 1 and router 2. So with IPv4 we have this network 1012. We do not have that for IPv6. This will only happen when I specify the include connected keyword. So if I show IP IPv6 route I can see that I have it over here as well. So it's not required to have this network. I would have full reachability to the loopback of R2 but this is just the way IPv6 and IPv4 differ. So something to be aware of. If I go back into router EIGP1 and let's say I wanted to redistribute connected, for instance, if I show IP office brief, I have a loopback that I'm already advertising EIGP. However, this loopback 1 is not advertised in EIGP. So I'm going to do that with a redistribution. So let's say I only wanted to add, redistribute this connected interface. I do not want to redistribute all connected interface. The way to do that is with a route map. So I'm just going to call it loopback 1. And I'm going to say match interface loopback uh, match interface loopback one loopback one. There we go. So do show route map. Just has one entry permit sequence ten match interface loopback one router EHP one redistribute connected. And then we have this route map keyword again. We do not need to specify a metric here. Route map. Uh, what was it? Loopback one. So. If we go on R3 now, show IP, IP route EIGP, notice that I have received the loopback of router 1, however, I have lost the 10.0.12 slash 24 network. This is the way, this is very dangerous if you're using route maps. I, I will still have reachability to this loopback, even though the network between them is not advertised. But if I had a task to advertise all networks and I did a redistribute connected with a loopback and just matching on one loopback, I will lose this connected interface. So to make sure that we advertise all networks, I have to go back in this route map, loopback 1 permit 10, and say match interface and what is between R1 and R2, in this case fast Ethernet 0, if I, if I am correct about that. Yeah, it is. So if I include that, I can see which I brought EIGP that we have this network in here as well. So that's something to look out for if you're redistributing connected interfaces.